Hi, this is Tamara Dennis, and I'm back with another video. This is a sample of the finished product, but today what we're going to be working on is just the background. So we're going to start with our canvas panels or watercolor paper, whatever you want to use, and we're just going to use some gesso or white paint and just put down a layer of color or actually just a layer of white. Then we're going to add our Neo color is what I'm using here. They're just some watercolor um, crayons and we're just going to scribble on here just randomly. Now we're just we'll add the water and spread them uh, throughout the canvas. We don't really mind that there's a few um, darker spots, lighter spots. It's just going to add to the overall effect of the finished product. Pull out your favorite stamp pads and your favorite stamps and we're going to start to work on adding some of the layering to the back, to the background. And I'm going to start with the filigree stamp and also the music stamp. And what we want to do is add these rather, rather haphazardly. So we don't want to have any straight lines with these. We're not trying to um, have some sort of a pattern. We just really want them very random. It's going to add to really the movement and the layering. And you're not going to, your eye's not going to be focused on um, maybe a straight line. It's just going to be able to move around the painting a little bit more. Now we're going to add the script um, stamp on here. I really like using script. It just adds some really interesting textures. I am um, showing you the um, earth tones of the Pam Pastels and I really enjoy using them. They're easy to use. They're very, very um, probably user friendly, I guess, that you can use your hands, you can use your fingers, you can use the sponge. What we're going to do is try to create a halo effect on our painting. And I'm just starting by layering different colors. I will use at least three different colors on each of mine. I don't use just one color. I try to add a little warmth in, especially with the orangish um, rust color. Here you'll see on each of them, I have probably three or four different Pam Pastels on there. And it's creating a halo effect around the outside edges. We want some areas that are a little bit darker, some a little bit lighter. It just really does help to the overall effect of your painting. Uh, here you can see on the upper one there's a little bit more dark in some areas and, and I like the look at that. You're going to find your own style and figure out what you enjoy, but this is really how I approach most of my paintings. Um, on this what I've done after I've finished it with the Pam Pastels, you do need to put a fixative. I used a shimmer gold that I had had. You can use uh, you know, a fixative. You can use maybe even a glitter spray if you wanted. I know some people have used hairspray. So that would be up to you. This is the finished product, the background, and just showing you a little bit of an up close, just the different textures that we have and some of the layers. Again, this is just the background, and next month I'm going to be showing you how I um, did the puzzle pieces that will be going onto these. And you can really see the warmth of the background now, how it really does set off the puzzle pieces. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you get your background ready, and I will be back in December and we will do another video and I'll show you how I completed all of the puzzle pieces. Thank you and happy holidays.